First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh. Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Yahweh Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Yahweh which is the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honor unto my apostles, the elders and the bishops of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth, and I would also like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, unto the true servants, the prophets that are prophesying and laboring in this truth. And in this doctrine unto you, I say shalom. The writing is on the wall. Everyone can see America's decline. All right. And this article right here is a poll that pretty much says that nine, it says 70 percent of Americans think the United States is in rapid decline. So everyone can see it. All right. Not just the, the, the prophets. Also, you know, we can see it through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemir Shai, but these Edomites, these other nations, they can see the, the, the rapid decline in America. All right. The people are divided. All right. Whether it's political party, the people are divided through, through you know, race. All right. Different social um, uh, 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 social incidents or you can call them that with, you know, in, with, with, with they deem social injustice I'll say that, with the police. All right. So everyone can see that, that the writings on the wall, meaning this place is 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 pretty much finished. All right. You the Israelites out there that continue to hold this place up and have dreams and aspirations and still, you know, seeking that American dream, you better wake up, man, because you're going to go down with this place. The scripture says, those join hand in hand, though hand, join in hand, that the wicked shall go, not go unpunished. So if you, you hand in hand with this place, you're going to go down right along with it. You're going to go down with the Titanic, pretty much. All right, so I'm going to read a little bit of this article, bring out some precepts, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. You jakes wake up and understand that this is not our rest. This, this, this is our captivity, and it's going down, all right? This is America has been the um, the, uh, uh, the the beacon of wickedness throughout the world, all right. And the Lord is about to judge this place for their wickedness, for for all the uh, the um, you know the wickedness they perpetuated throughout the throughout the world, all right. So it says American express uh, pessimism about the country's future. Recent surveys conducted by the Pew Research Center, Gallup, and Axis ISAP Latino poll reveals a prevailing sense of pessimism among Americans regarding the future of the United States. Pew's Research Center's April, 20, April 2023 survey found that 68% of Americans expressed at least some pessimism about the country's future, citing concerns about the economy, political divisions, and social so, so, societal problems. All right, so everything that that pretty much makes up this makes up this wicked ass place, the economy, the 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 the, um, the way the uh, money is um, distributed, or you can say that the false sense of uh, the money. All right, because your money's not worth anything, and, and you're you're that's being made evident through the inflation. All right, everything is at an all time high. The gas, food. All right, it's really your, your your basic necessities that you need. The food. And you need, you know, uh, uh, um, gas to put in your car, okay? Even all other natural resources, natural gas, all right, uh, uh, um, electricity, all the basic necessities you need to survive here are, are all skyrocketing, all through the roof, all right? Of course, there's political division, all right, where, where you know, the, 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 the Democratic, the so-called Democrats are siding with the um, Republicans on, on, on a lot of issues. All right, a lot of people are, 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 you know, upset with how the political structure of this, of this country and where it's headed. And all right, and societal problems, like I said, you know, um, had, a lot has to do with uh, so-called racial injustices that people see, all right, with, with, you know, how the police keep shooting down Jake, all right. And, and a lot of it, we know, we understand that it's judgment, but, you know, people are kind of fed up. People see the downfall. People see that this, this place is... People are really seeing America for what it what they, what they really are, what, what this country has been about, what this country perpetuates throughout the world and its wickedness. This sentiment was further underscored by Gallup's two thousand Gallup's October two thousand twenty three poll, which reported that only thirty two percent of Americans said they were satisfied with the way things are going in the U.S. And them thirty two people are, are them thirty two percent of those people are, are are they're clearly in gross darkness. And I would say a lot of them are our people, Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. 
okay, where they don't see anything wrong with the hell that's going on, okay, and if they do, they too chicken shit to say anything about it or speak up about it, all right, they just go along and get along, all right, they were satisfied with the way things are going, U.S., marking the lowest satisfaction rating in Gallup's history, or additional, the, Ac the Axios, ISOPs, Latino poll conducted in July 2023 revealed that 61% of Latinos believe that they could achieve the American dream through hard work compared to 36 of the general population in the Wall Street Journal poll from November 20, 2023. So 61% of Latinos, Israelites, they still believe in the American dream. All right? You have a lot of them coming over here, all right, which uh, the majority of them are um you know, uh, 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 foreign troops, more than likely. And, and, but some of them are coming in here to really, you know, sincerely want to, you know, live a better life. But they still believe in that American dream. All right, when you when they get here and they understand that they they're pretty much trapped. Okay, because you know the the Esau's, you know, rolling out the red carpet for them. Little do they know that eventually that that roll, as they roll out the red red carpet and give them money and housing. It's going to come with a cost, which is more than likely going to be that MOTB, all right, that where they pledge their allegiance to Esau, this system, America, and this New World Order system, all right? Let me scroll down because they ain't going to let me read the whole article unless I subscribe. It says, the Pew Research Center survey highlighted various areas of concern, which the majority of Americans expressing pessimism about income equality, the nation's economic prospects, and, the, and its role in the world. All right, in the role of America in this world, everyone, everyone, um, the world is seeing America for what they really are. All America's uh, uh, wicked and shameful history is being brought to brought to the forefront. The survey also revealed that within fifty percent, fifty six percent of all adults were somewhat or very optimistic about what the economy would look like in twenty fifty. The optimism waned. Uh, when respondents were asked about specific aspects of American life, 2020, 2050, so they, they, they really think this, this place got 25, 26 more years, they, they out their mind, okay? When you got people walking around with a, 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 a Apple Vision headsets and, and, you know, this place is, this place is headed for, for destruction. The, the, the minds of the people are already destroyed, okay? And these people think that this place is going to be around for 20, 2050. 26 more years, 25 more years. They must be crazy. The most high is, 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 is about to let his son come destroy this place and deliver the elect. And a new kingdom, a righteous kingdom will be set up. All right, where the Israelites will rule and rule, rule the planet. Rule, yeah, rule the planet, rule the universe. All right, starting with Yahweh King David and the elect. All right. And all the Israelites will be in our right mind in the, in the kingdom of heaven. With this, this America, this, this, America and, and, and all the bullshit and the wickedness, all this shit would be a bad dream. But they first, this place has to go down, all right? And we're a hey, we're at the beginning of that, and it really starts with the division of the people, all right? The people are divided, it, it, you know. This a hey, divide and conquer. That's a tactic that Esau used amongst our people, all right? Let's divide the people, let's set up, separate them in, into different races, and turn them against each other, all right? And that's exactly what's taking place here in America. This is a uh, mark. Uh, chapter 3 and verse 23. And he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but has an end. And, and that we're clearly, clearly at the end of Esau society. Okay? A. Hey, this devil Esau, so-called white man, he had a he had a nice little run, all right. Where you know he had the children of the children of Israel, all right, in captivity. He built up this this so-called great nation on slave labor, rape, rob, and murder, and pillaged all the lands of the world. They had they had their blessing, the fatness of the earth. They ruled by the sword, but they their kingdom has an end. The only kingdom that doesn't have an end is the kingdom of heaven, all right. A uh, uh, world without end, as the scripture said. All right, let me get this in Daniel, and I'm gonna, um, actually, let me grab this. Um, what was it, Isaiah 19? Isaiah 19, and, um, mm, I'll start at two. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and the, they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, 
city against city and kingdom against kingdom. That's that's speaking of the divide, the division amongst America. That's why this place is uh, one of the reasons why this place is in a rapid decline because people are divided. No, no one's in the grants agreement on anything. Okay, it's, it's divided even all the way at the top, all right, of these so-called uh, uh, national leaders, presidents, governors, all right, you got the governor of uh, uh, Texas going against the president's orders, all right, you have other, you know, uh, uh, leaders of these states, governors that's siding with the, the uh, Texas governor, so it's, it's, it's divided, all right, it, and the people are divided, it says Egyptian against Egyptian, American against Americans, really these Edomites. All right, because you, our people, really don't got no say in these politics. All right, and the polit politicians that are of our people, they they just part and pay for. It. All right, they don't got no say, but they shall fight everyone against his brother, everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kid kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the council thereof, and they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards, and the Egyptians will give over into the hands. Of a cruel lord and a fierce king shall rule over them, saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts. And that cruel ruler, uh, that cruel lord, that fierce king is probably going to be Trump. All right, because hey, if Trump gets in there, all right, this is election year. Trump gets in there, you're going to see even even a greater divide amongst the people, because you're going to be have those people that are pro Trump, but then you're going to have those that are uh, uh, um, you know uh, um, anti-Trump or, you know, they may be anti-Trump. They may not be pro-Biden, but they definitely anti-Trump and, and it's, it's going to be even a greater divide. All right. So let me get the scripture. I wanted to get in Daniel, uh, Daniel, the fifth chapter, because this is speaking about when, um, the Babylonian empire fell and, and um, never, what's his name? Never Chad Dozer. He was having a, um, he was having a feast and that hand came and wrote on the wall, uh, tickle, uh, what does it say? Here it is. Uh, Daniel 5 and 24. And then I'll start at the top to get you there. Let's see. Oh, it's Belshazzar. Sorry. And his son, O Belshazzar, had not humbled thy heart, though thou knewest all this, and had lifted up against the Lord of heaven, and then and they have brought the vessels of the house before before thee, and that and though and thy lords, thy wives, and thy concubines have drunk wine in them, and they have praised the gods of silver and gold and brass, iron, wood, and stone, which see not, nor hear, nor know in the Most High, and the Most High in whose hands they breathe is, and whose all whose are all thy ways hast thou not glorified. All right, so they were having a big party drinking out of the vessels that they had stole out of the, the temple, Okay. Then was the part of the hand sent from, from them, and this writing was written, and, and this is the writing that was written. Many, many tekel of harsin. In their inter interpretation of the thing, many, God have numbered thy kingdoms and finish it. Tickle thou have weighed, thou art weighed in the balances and are found wanting. Paris. The kingdom is divided and given into the Medes and the Persians. So your kingdom is go is divided and it's going to be given into the hands of the Israelites. Okay? But this kingdom is, is, is numbered and it's finished. Okay? All, it's, all we got to get to really is the action. All right? With, with, the, with the race wars. All right? The, 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 the um, you know, like, as, as the scripture said, uh, a kingdom against kingdom, nation against nation. All right? And, and you know, World War Three. All right, Jacob's trouble. All right, and, and this place is, is is literally finished. All right, when Jacob's trouble kicks off, you know you're gonna have Esau coming down with great wrath, and the you know, and, and at the same time you're gonna have these nations, you know, coming against America. You're gonna have these allies of America coming against America, and eventually they're gonna eventually to you know they're gonna be act like you know they're all in together. Eventually they're gonna turn on this place. They're gonna you know, stab America in the back. The elect's going to be delivered, and that's going to be it. This place is finished. The people see it. All right, a lot of these people, they, they, they you know, they, they seem stupid and dumb, but they, they could feel a, the, the, a sense of, you know, uh, uh, of they could feel it in the air. Okay, like something they write, shit, something could go down any minute. Okay, and something is going to go down. All right, whether it's you know, if it more than likely is going to be a false flag because Esau wants their new world order. 
okay? They, they understand that, you know, their time is up and they want to try to do any and everything to preserve, you know, uh, their life, their, all right, in the, in these, in, in this time, you know, preserve their kingdom. All right, this is Jeremiah 51 and 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon, deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. And Babylon is speaking of America. Okay? Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand and has made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. And they, that wine was the philosophies of America, the, the, the witchcraft of America that they um, they pretty much impose on the world, democracy, all right? You know, women's live and all these, you know, wicked ass philosophies Esau has pushed to try to, really to destroy a lot of these nations, all right? And the nations have, you know, they're sobered up off, the, off that wine of Babylon and they look at their people and like, fuck, look at our people. Our people are destroyed listening to America or following after the ways of America. It says, therefore, the nations are mad. Suddenly Babylon is fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go every one into his own country for her judgment reacheth up unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. The judgment, meant that this, the, the judgment is reached up there because the sins of America, of Babylon, have reached unto the heavens. As it says here in Revelation uh, 8, the 18th chapter. Revelation 18 and, um, should I read, start starting at 3. For all nations have drunken of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. The kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. All right, so the kings of the earth, that, that's going back to the verse I read in Jeremiah, where uh, they, they've drunken of the wine, they've drunken of the philosophies, all right, the ways uh, of America, because, you know, they, they, they were all right with it as long as they were getting rich. All right, that's how a lot of these merchants, the merchants of the earth, wax rich through her abundance. This America was always, for a long time, have been a um, a, a, a major exporter of goods. All right, where they exported all types of goods throughout the world because you know they had the slave labor here. But now America has become a consumer nation where we we in America you know receives more imports than anything. That's why how the nations were waxing rich. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not, not of her plagues. And this is literally come out of her, of the elect being beamed up in the chariots, all right? That we be, partake, not, be not partakers of the plagues. And the major plague is those ICBM missiles where if you're on the shores of America, you're on America anywhere, when those missiles hit, get through. That's why the elect, it has to be delivered. All right, it has to be uh, uh, beamed up in those chariots to escape the judgment. Verse 5, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High, Yahweh, hath remembered her iniquities. All right, the sins of America have reached un 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 unto heaven. Okay, as it said in the verse I read in uh, Jeremiah 51, her judgments have reached unto heaven. All right, right? because of wickedness, the wickedness of this place. All right, the wickedness, they, like I said, they perpetuated throughout the world, throughout, throughout the globe. This is um, 2nd Ezra uh, 15 and uh, verse 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. All right? So uh, hey, hey, Esau's doing this to itself because of their wickedness. All right? They, they, have the, they, they know how to live a righteous life. All right, they they understood the, the you know they understand the Bible, okay? The the elites, all right, but they just choose not to do it. They want to rule the people in rigor. They want to rule rule the people in wickedness, and and push wickedness throughout all the people. Push their wicked philosophies on the people. Then it's not a righteous bone in Esau's body. So why would he be righteous? Okay, that's why this place is going to be destroyed. All right, the Lord has a reasoning for everything that He does. All right, so when this place is the when this America is destroyed, it's gonna have it's gonna be justified. All right, um, let me um jump over to uh Second Ezra, the sixth chapter, and uh the fifth verse, sixth verse, no, uh, seven. Then I then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times, and when shall it be the when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? 
And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So, hey, we have we're, we're that that's we're at the end of the world, that, meaning the end of an age, or right, we're at the end of Esau's rulership. Okay, everyone can see the decline. These other nations, all right. You don't think these other nations are are, are paying close attention to what the hell is going on in America? Okay, but 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 they're warning their people. They're telling their 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 citizens to prepare for war. All right, to you know. They're giving them certain instructions to prepare for war. What is the American government doing for you Israelites? All right, not even you Israelites, you American people, the whole people as a whole, nothing. All right, they're getting you niggas prepared for the Super Bowl. All right, they're getting you niggas prepared for, for, for some fun. All right, there's no seriousness about the situation here in America. Okay, but all throughout the world, the people are getting serious. They understand that it's, a, it's, a, it's going to be a great transitioning of power. And really, they, they're, they're preparing for them to be in the next, them to be in the driver's seat next, all right, for China to take over as the next world superpower or Russia, but they got another thing coming, all right, because it's going to be the Yavashai and the elect that's going to rule and right just throughout, the, you know, throughout the whole uniform, throughout the whole universe, all right, this is the book of Sirach, Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 8, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. So we're in, we're in the transition period, all right? Every, everyone can see, all right, the, the decline, but they don't understand the transition. The elect, the men of the Lord, we understand the transition, okay? And what, what, take, what, it, what's, what it's going to take and how things are going to get bad, things are going to get worse, all right? But this is a part of the transition. When you've seen great kingdoms, all right, fall, the Romans, the, the, the Persians, the Medes, the, the Greeks, it wasn't just like, okay, they just, they just you know, gave in. All right, it was just like, you know, all right, you know, you guys going, no, it was, it was, the, you know, those nations that were taken down, they fought. All right, so hey, don't expect Esau to do, Esau's going to do the same thing. He's going to fight. He's going to fight against, yeah, he's going to even fight against Yahweh Shah and the angels. All right, so he's going to definitely fight against the men of the Lord. All right, and it's a spiritual fight, but eventually, all right, it's going to become, it's going to become physical, and that's when, the uh, um, Michael the Archangel is going to have to come in and, and, you know, fend and fight for the elect. All right. So, Lord, within this lesson, it's edifying unto the elect. And I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hawakakodash. Shalom.